Now that you've learned all about derivatives, it's time to go back to limits. I know uh, how excited you are. Everybody hates limits. Everybody likes derivatives way better than limits. But now that you know derivatives, limits get a lot easier because of this thing called L'Hopital's rule. It's spelled L'Hopital. I don't know, not L'Hospital's, uh, as some people say. Um, let's talk about what this means. Uh, so if you get, if you have a limit of a rational function, a function over a function, and you get zero over zero, or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, then you can do the same limit, except you can take the derivative of the, derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator and try the limit again. Okay, it's not a quotient rule. Don't do the quotient rule. Sometimes people do that. It's you take the derivative of the top separately from the derivative of the numerator. So this is great news because you were always getting zero over zero. That was the problem before. But now that you know derivatives, and usually these are going to be easy derivatives, you can just, well, you can just do derivatives and it's pretty much going to solve your limit for you. So let me show you a nice example of this thing. I've got the limit as x approaches infinity of x to the fifth, I'll make it 5x to the fifth, plus, uh, let's see, I'm just going to make this up, 4x to the fourth, plus, hey, this looks good, plus 3x cubed, uh, plus 1, I don't know, over 9x to the fifth, now oh, that's going to get way too big, I'm just going to make it x to the fifth, plus x cubed, I don't know. All right, that's good enough. So let me try to take this limit. And I always say plug it in. You can't really plug in infinity, but uh, you're basically plugging in infinity. Well, infinity to the fifth plus infinity to the fourth plus infinity cubed is definitely infinity. And infinity to the fifth plus infinity cubed is also infinity. Hey, I got infinity over infinity. That means I can use L'Hopital's rule and sometimes they do that. They say LHR. So that's this is me signifying that I'm going to do L'Hopital's rule right here. And L'Hopital's rule says I take the derivative of the numerator. I've still got limit as x goes to infinity. I'll take the derivative of the numerator. So that's 5 times 5 is 25x to the fourth plus 16x cubed plus 9x squared plus 0 over 5 x to the fourth plus three x squared. Okay. Now I'm allowed to try the limit again. So let me plug in infinity again. Well, that's infinity to the fourth plus infinity cubed. It's definitely infinity. Same on the bottom, right? Infinity to the fourth times five plus infinity squared times three is infinity. I got infinity over infinity again. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do LHR. I'm gonna do L'Hopital's rule. And I'm going to keep doing L'Hopital's rule until we get an answer. So i got to do the power rule again. 25 times 4, that's 100. x cubed plus 16 times 3, I think that's 48x squared. Plus 9 times 2 is 18x over 5 times 4 is 20x to the third. Plus 3 times 2 is 6x. All right, and now I try the limit again. If I plug in infinity, 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 that's infinity on top. Infinity, infinity, that's infinity on the bottom. What do I do? I keep getting infinity over infinity. I keep doing L'Hopital's rule. I'm going to have to make some more room. Might as well keep these limits. X goes to infinity. You really should write that each time until you actually have an answer. So I just keep taking the derivative. So the derivative of 100x cubed, that's 300x squared, plus... Uh, 48 times 2, I think that's 90, uh, 96, yeah, 96x plus 18, all over 3 times 20, that's 60x squared plus 6. I'll plug in infinity, uh, and well, same deal, infinity over infinity, so I write LHR one more time, and we're almost getting there. I'll do the derivative of the numerator separately from the derivative of the denominator. It's not a quotient rule, guys. It's something completely different. But you can see the terms have been dropping out this whole time. 60 times 2 is 120x. And if I take the 
Limit again. I'm still getting infinity over infinity. One more time. I know you can do it. L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of the numerator is 600. The derivative of the denominator is 120. Ah, I've got a constant now. And I don't care what my limit's going to. You know from the constant law that the limit of a constant is just that constant. And you can simplify this, cross those zeros, 60 over 12, that's five. And that's the answer. That's how you use L'Hopital's rule until you get it done. You just keep taking derivatives. If you're getting infinity over infinity or zero over zero, you just keep, keep on keeping on with the derivatives until you get an answer. There's L'Hopital's rule. It should fix almost all of your limit problems up until this point. I hope you got something out of it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and please have a great day.